What's up guys, this is Andrew at Night and today I'm going to show you how you can route your Nexus 5 in under about 5 minutes. This is a really easy quick process and I'm going to run you through the entire thing. So you can see here I've got my Nexus 5, this is completely unrouted. One thing to bear in mind, when you do this it is going to completely wipe your device so if you've got anything that you want to back up, photos etc, um, ping them onto your laptop. Optionally, you can um, make sure everything is up in the cloud, which is what I do, so I use um, a couple of upload services and things like that. So make sure your data is where you need it to be because this is going to get completely wiped. Next thing you're going to need is your MacBook. Um, there are a lot of Windows versions of this as well. Um, I'll put some links to those in the descriptions, but as I use a MacBook, I'm going to show you how to do it on a MacBook. And the last thing you need is some sort of micro USB wire. This is just a Kindle one, but this works just as well as the one that comes with your Nexus 5. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and you'll go to this page. All credit to this guy, this guy is TechFanatic9, he is a pretty prolific guy on XDA Developers if you know the website. If you don't know the website, go check it out, it's really, really useful. And you'll get to this page. All you need to do is go to the download all the Mac toolkits here link. You want to click that and this will take you to Android Roots. You then need to go downstairs go downstairs, sorry, scroll down and hit download one click root toolkit for Nexus 5. Um, there's an awesome thing here, if you haven't got the Android file transfer already installed, I already do, then you need to click that and install that, um, but most of you should have that already, it just lets you drop files um, to and from your MacBook to your Nexus 5, so if you are going to back your phone up, um, that's a very easy way to do it. Then go to the download link, hit download, it will download to your laptop, uh, it's saying about 30 seconds left, so we'll let that run through. Uh, yeah, so just while you're doing that, I'm going to get my phone, I'm going to turn it off, here we go, power off, do do do, and you want to beat your phone into the bootloader mode, to do this all you need to do is hold power and volume down, and your phone will reboot, and look a little bit like this. You then want to get your phone and plug it in, making sure of course the USB is the right way around. So that is now plugged in, we are going to plop that off to one side and this download is now opened. We're going to hit open and you'll get a folder called root nexus 5. You then want to double tap to open the root nexus 5, um, the green one. If you can't open it, hold control, double tap, oh sorry, hold control, single tap it and then hit open. Sometimes it won't let you open it because of security, but um, if you hold the control, you just get the option to open it anyway. You will then get this little pop-up, which says, one-click root for LG Nexus 5, brought to you by androidroots.com. This script will root your Nexus 5. For more details, go to their website. Warning, this will do a factory reset on your phone. Back up your phone. First, make sure you're in fast boot mode and phone is plugged in. And then press enter to unlock your bootloader and root your Nexus 5. So as I said, just make sure you've backed everything up. We already have, so we are going to go ahead and hit enter. And you'll see on your Nexus 5, you get this pop up. It says unlock your bootloader. If you want to wish to unlock it, um, blah, 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 blah. Um, hit yes. Oh, not touch screen. You need to roll, um, volume will scroll through these two options. Hit yes, and then hit your power button to select yes again. And you'll see at the bottom there, it says erasing. And we're going to get, let this script run through. There we go. As you can see there, it says OK, finished. Now press the power button to start the device. We're going to hit power button to restart the device. It then says transfer update SuperSU version 1.65 zip onto your phone using Android file transfer. Um, so obviously if you haven't already installed that, this would be a great time to install it now. We are just going to leave this running, and as you can see, you get the little Android dude with the small blue thing spinning in his chest. Okay, so the phone's gone black now, as you can see it reboots, you get the nice little unlock logo underneath your Google logo. And we'll let this reboot. Boom, there we go. Nexus colours. And we're going to go back to this little, little pop-up here.
So as you can see, we are back to the setup screen. We are going to quickly scroll through all of this just to get to use the phone. Finish. OK. OK. Right, OK. Now what you need to do is unplug and plug back in, and that should fire up the media device option. If you've got Android file transfer installed, it should now pop up. As you can see here. Ooh. There we go. And I'm just going to drag these windows just so you can see both at the same time. As you can see here, it says transfer update super user SU version 1.65 zip into your phone using Android file transfer. So we are going to go to that folder which is the root nexus 5 folder. As you can see, update. We're going to drop that onto the phone. And then once that's copied, that's already done, we are going to hit enter to continue and then enter back into fastboot mode. So you can see it says ready to install TWRP recovery, press 1 and then press enter and that will send the recovery across. So we're going to key down to recovery mode and hit power. And then you see team win. We are going to go to install and we're going to go all the way down to the update SU version 1.65 folder, hit that and swipe. And then you hear all oh, you hear, you see it says successful. And we're going to hit reboot. Then you want to hit enter. And as you can see, we are now done. So that was pretty quick, simple, and painless. I'm just going to let this reboot just so you can see the finished product with your Nexus 5 newly rooted with a recovery flashed. Now, I am going to do some uh, ROM reviews soon. I'm going to flash a couple of these, a couple, I'm going to flash a couple of ROMs on this, just to test them out first um, and have a play with them. So there you have it, guys. Your Nexus 5 is now rooted. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments below. Um, and if you've got anything you want to see with a rooted Nexus 5, I'll try and do a video on it. If you again, comment below and let me know what you want to see. So it's been Android at Night. Please subscribe if you haven't seen me before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. ta -ra.